Scorpios, this is for you. This is your reading for body, mind, heart, and spirit. This is a short spread, it's just four positions. And I'll be using two decks to deliver the message for you for June to the rest of the year. Okay, and then let's look at this heart position. For Scorpio, okay. And could I have the second deck do the same thing? Body. Mind. Next position is heart. And finally, spirit. Okay, and we'll pull clarifiers at the end just to make sure, Scorpio, you get the message. Body, first position is Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this is letting you know that uh, full emotional, sorry, full financial completion cycles are coming through, um, manifesting physically for you. This is specifically money. Love and friendship with the card of trust. I think that as well, a lot of you are manifesting new circles, um, new social circles, um, family, unity, um, unconditional love as well. And I think that it's very easy to do because things are going so well financially. If they are not going well financially, they will be. I would like to see you move forward with this. Of course, I want everyone to prosper. A rising tide raises all ships. When one person does well, we all do well. Okay? Let's take a look next at this body position. I'm sorry, the mind position. Nine of Wands. Are you going to battle with somebody? Because you're leading the charge here. You're the leader of the pack. I think that's why I might have mentioned the new group of friends. You're the leader of the pack in this card. Um, definitely forward thinking, planning, scheming, manifesting things in the future, okay? You're, you're, char you're in charge of this endeavor. Grief, accepting loss. I think that you are actually the conqueror. And there might be some things that you're willing to lose to sacrifice. Um, you, just, you just keep it moving. Uh, Scorpio, I don't anticipate you being hurt or wounded by this, but you just accept it, you acknowledge it, you move on. You're not going to dwell on it because what's done is done. Okay, there's other things to move forward and look forward to. And I, that's why this forward momentum here. I think this is also timing. Something is happening very quickly for the last half of 2022. I don't know when. Obviously, this is a general reading, but I think that something is propelling forward and fast forwarding right after a loss. Maybe even a few losses for you. This heart position, four of wands, uh, liberation, love, finding love, um, accepting the creative you. Uh, again, the social circle is very important and that's, that's what this card is saying as well intuitively. Legacy, persistence. Uh, the herd has a memory. Uh, what you're creating is something long-term and permanent and I think that this legacy of wellness, of wealth, of emotional stability, uh, we got this because this is my team, of we're all going to go up. I, I, think, I think that's what it, where it came from. It was like, we're all going to go up together. But you are, for some reason, in charge of like one specific thing or the entire thing. There's a task that you are assigned that everyone's looking forward to seeing you do. And if you do it well, they know that they can do it too or that they're somehow going to benefit from it. But it's a mutually positive thing. It's not a leech or a parasite thing. Um, I think that definitely, Scorpio, your energy is very magnetic, uh, very sexy. And I think that you're at the height of like some type of like strong, divine feminine Venus energy. I don't know how to describe it, but it's very sexy. It's very attractive. People will be drawn to you. And then finally, Spirit, the Queen of Wands. Again, just being the creatrix of your own universe creating your own happiness, setting the scene, creating the mood, dimming the lights, getting the furniture just right, making the, make the house smell good. You are creating the setting for something beautiful to come in. Returning, going with the flow. Again, creating the setting, the mood, the colors in this card. Um, this has a lot to do with seasons and timing. So something about the last half of 22, like you have a special event or special holiday or specific people coming to visit where timing is very important. Intuitively, that's what I'm getting. All right, so all together, we have trust, 
body. And this is mind, grief, accepting loss. Heart is creating the legacy. And then, of course, in the spirit position, we have uh, returning. Okay? And then, all together up to top, we have the Ten of Pentacles, body. Mind is the Nine of Wands. Four of Wands is heart position. Queen of Wands is your spirit position. All right, let's get some clarifiers down. Seven of Swords. This is you down here, crouched below. You are strat. Your strategy is like unparalleled. Like people aren't going to see you coming, but you don't have to explain yourself. I always tell, say, you know, minding your business is free ninety nine. Mind the business, whatever. But you just have like the stealth mode, but it's sexy. I think that you have a trusted secret circle of people where like all of you are wearing masks and are dodging around like the Mask of Zorro, like the character in this card. That's what I anticipate. Can I get another clarifier for Scorpio, please? Knowledge. You know something. You're, you're planning, like I said, like you, you got it up here, but it's, it's the way that this character is sitting here, like who, me, I have it. That's your energy the rest of the year. Scorpio, I think that this is a very positive and beautiful reading, and I'm, ha I'm happy to report this. Um, sometimes I get, like be ready for a wild one, I'd say just, Keep doing what you've been doing. You've been very astute. You're very aware of your surroundings up to this point. Keep up the good work. Do not get lazy just because you see a little bit of success. Because that could be temporary. Okay? I will see you in the next one, Scorpio. But of course, um, go ahead and follow me on my social medias. Everything's in the link below. Okay?